Cowboy Hoy! A fiery horse with a speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty hi silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> Hatred and distrust between the Indians and the pioneers in the western United States continued long after the red men had signed treaties and retired to their reservations. The frontier might never have known peace if it had not been for the masked rider of the plains. It was he who brought the renegades of both races to justice. It was he, more than any other man, who made possible the winning of the West. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for more spring! There's going to be trouble! Come on, Silver! Hawaii! <laughs> The cafe at Moss Springs held the greatest crowd in its history. Two rival factions glared at each other as they waited for the election returns. Men spoke in low tones, as if to speak louder would precipitate an explosion. But finally, a bulky, heavyset man pushed his way forward until he stood in the open space dividing the two groups. At his appearance, the room became silent and... Putnam. What do you want, Webb? Step out of here. Well, the votes will all be counted before long, Putnam. When they are, we'll know whether you've been elected sheriff or I have. What about it? I'd like to ask you a few questions first. Ask ahead. What are you going to do if I win? <laughs> Fred? You know I ain't. I'm just asking you a question. You don't call for no answer. Why not? You ain't gonna win. Well, let's not go into that. Just waste time and likely we'd end up in another fight. What I want to know is if I'm elected, you're gonna work with me or against me? What do you think? I hope we'll get along. <laughs> I know your ideas on how this county ought to be run. I figure you're dead wrong. But if you're elected... Well... I'm willing to let bygones be bygones. I'll figure you're in office because most of the voters in the county wanted you there. I'll figure if they wanted you there, it's because they think you're right and they want things handled the way you've promised to handle them. That being the case, it'd be just my plain duty to go along with them. (laughs) 
Sounds like you're crawling, Webb. Why? Oh, Sounds to me like you know you're going to get beat and you're just fixing it so as when you do, you can switch over to the winning side without it looking bad. Listen to me, Putnam. If I answered that the way it deserves to be answered, there'd be a ruckus in here that'd bust the place wide open. Which means you get licked in two different ways on the same night. You get beat with votes, you get beat with... with bullets. Hold it! Well, I guess I've got my answer. Leastways, you've got the only answer you're ever going to get. And if I'm voted sheriff and we go on fighting among ourselves, what's going to happen to the county? Better worry about your own hide. Good enough. I know how we stand. You sure do. Helen! The votes are counted. We know who's sheriff. Well, who is it? No, no. He's standing right there. Tom West! Tom West! Tom can't be. The boat was crooked. That dog was coyote. trouble. What you mean? Putnam's a poor loser. Oh. He's got a powerful following. Not right. The people who believe in him will do whatever he says. Oh. And if he can't control the county with ballots, he'll try it with bullets. Tell the back to camp. Uh, what we do? If there's trouble, uh. we're taking a hand. Come on, Scott. Get him up, Scout. Hail Silver! Away! Slim, I didn't hear you come in. And when I heard you say sheriff, I thought you was talking to somebody else. Forgot I'd been elected, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've only had a week to get used to it. Yep, yeah, that's right. Where you been? Over west, like you told me. Yeah? What'd you find out? Putnam's edging around to something, all right. Men arriving at his place every day. So many of them there now camping on his grounds. Looks like the soldiers have made camp. Hmm. But there's over a hundred. Talk with them any? Find out what they're scheming? Huh. Think they'd talk to me when they know I'm one of your deputies? Don't act foolish. I'm just lucky they didn't get the notion to drill me for nosing around. I can't figure Anyhow, out. Anyhow, what are you asking what they're scheming for? You got any doubts? Yep. Yeah, there I ain't. You know they're going to ride for the reservation. Oh, the crazy idiots. Uh-huh. But you didn't figure they was going to change their opinions any just because they lost an election, did you? Shucks, they believed just what they believed before. That them reservation redskins are responsible for everything around here from massacres to bunions. They're going to drive them poor Indians back to the Badlands just as sure as sin. Maybe there'll be a few folks killed on both sides before it's done. And maybe afterwards, those engines being right mad are going to strike back so there'll be more folks killed. But Putnam and his friends don't care nothing about that. They got ideas and they're going to act on it. Oh. Unless you step in and stop them. What can I do? Ain't you wearing a badge? Or is there something wrong with my eyes? Can I jail anybody for camping on Putnam's place? Nope. But it'd be nice if you could. Can I jail them for carrying arms? I reckon not. If they all get together and start riding for the reservation, can I jail them for that? Nope. Well, then there you are. I was going to say I couldn't take action until after the damage was done. But when you come right down to it, I can't even then. I wouldn't have no authority. That reservation ain't in the county. What Putnam and his friends do when they get there ain't none of my affair. Yep. The only ones could interfere would be the soldiers of the United States Marshal's office. Even though we'd be the ones to suffer by it. Guess so. Uh, sometimes I think Putnam ought to have his full head examined. Local maverick. It ain't just that they're blaming the Indians for their troubles. What else is it? Shucks, they want that land. 
They make right good grazing. And ain't the Injuns to have nothing? Well, Putnam don't see no reason why they should. Huh. So there's just one thing I could do. What's that? Round up the folks that think like we do and have a showdown. Now. Now then I'd have to forget I'm the law. And I can't. A sheriff that don't pay no attention to what's legal ain't worth what it takes to pay for a star. So we just put a shine on our britches sitting here. You think of anything else? For a deputy's wages? I ain't supposed to. <laughs> I thought as much. Well, you go on back. Hey, what's that? It was a horseman right outside this window. Hurry, hurry. There he goes. He's masked. And riding the finest horse I ever laid eyes on. What do you suppose? He was listening for? Yeah. I don't know. But gosh, that horse. Ain't it a beauty? <laughs> Silver. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh. You, you see, Sheriff? I know what he's going to do. What that? Nothing. Oh, that bad. But the trouble is, he can't do anything. It's as I heard him say. When a sheriff takes the oath of office, he must stay within the law. At present, he can take no legal step to prevent Putnam going through with his plans. Mm. Still quite an encampment down there, huh? Um, more feller come all time. You've kept an eye on the ranch house? Uh, me watch it. Putnam's still inside? Uh. Then I'm going down there. No, you not go. Why not? There's danger. There's heap danger. But I've got to chance it. Why go? Someone must talk to that man. Someone has to make an attempt to bring him to his senses. Uh, you go, then see you. I'll approach the house by way of the corrals. His friends are camped on the other side. Now I'll have cover enough. Oh, you stay. No, Kimasaba, you stay. But Tonto, wait for me here. You wait. I'll be back inside of thirty minutes. Come on, Silver. Come on, old fellow. Who is it? It's me, Mister Putnam. Sandy. Oh, come in. What do you want, Sandy? Yes. Just thought you ought to know that Buck Collins and Ed Birch have come to join up, boss. <laughs> have they? Uh-huh. Just got here. They're going to camp down in the draw with Sims and his boys. Ed says he figures there's some fellas from down Dawn's Hollow that'll be coming along before long. Says he talked to them and they promised. Good. Never figured there'd be so many, boss. We're having a doggone hard time rustling grub from all. The more the better. The blazes with the grub and such. Give them all they want. They'll earn it. Uh, any notion when we'll ride? Come on. Yeah? You can pass that word along if you like. Sure. Wait until then so everybody that's coming will have a chance to get here. Likely there'll be fellas pulling in during the night. How about Webb? Webb? Well, he's sheriff now, ain't he? You think he ain't heard what's going on? What can he do? I don't know, Don't but... worry about that idiot, Sandy. <laughs> He won't make us no trouble. Since election, I'm kind of half glad he won off. Ties his hands. <laughs> and I'll bet he's just beginning to wake up to it. Well, I... What the... A mass man, boss. Don't slap, brother. Well, you can't... Don't move from either one of you, and I'll let you have it. Sandy, stand aside. I won't... Go on. I can watch you better. Oh, well... Stranger, what do you want? To let you know, Putnam, that although the sheriff can do nothing about your schemes... There are a few of us here in the county who can. What are you talking about? You mean to drive the Indians off their reservation back into the Badlands? What's that to you? Oh, wake up, man. Don't you realize what that'll mean? At this moment, the Indians are peaceful. But you'll put everyone who can fight onto the warpath. We can handle them. And how about the innocent people who will suffer because of your greed? Greed? You know a better word for it? Are you going to claim that you have any other motive for this than to grab the land those Indians occupy? That's some of the best land of these parts. Granted. Then what right of the redskins to have land that we could use? The right of ownership, once all this land belonged to them. Yeah. Well, go on. What were you going to say? Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Well, uh, what I meant to say, stranger, whoever you are, you're wasting your time. We're acting tomorrow. And nothing will change your mind? Nothing. And you'll come with me? Yeah. What do you mean? All right, boys, grab him. Hey! hey. Hold his hand on that. Hold him! Let him get away and I'll drill every one last. 
they going to boss? <laughs> almost. Almost a dozen to one, Putnam. <laughs> There's something you didn't savvy when you come busting in here, mass man. I what? I've got fellas watching all the time. They knew you was here from the time you stepped in. So I see. All right, fellas. <laughs> Take off his mask. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. continue our story. While the Lone Ranger was held by Putnam's men, the rancher gave the order to unmask him. Get back. You can't get away. Hold him. Stand still. You let mask friend go. Oh, rich kid. Tell him not take off mask. Stand still. Uh, I wasn't going to do nothing. Me shoot you. Keep them covered, Tunnel. Uh. All right. I can take care of them now. Go on out. You come? Yes, Tunnel. I'll be right behind you. Go on. I'll keep these fellows covered while we're leaving. Uh -huh. Don't move anyone. You win this time, Mass, man. But don't come back. Tell her, call the horses. Uh -huh. Here, Silver. Here, Scout. Putnam. Well, you'll see me again. You when you do, you'll regret it. All right, Tonto, let's go. Hip. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. Shoot those men. Grab him. Come on, Silver. Come on. <laughs> Oh, there. Oh, there. Here's where we separate. And where you go? I'm riding to town. I'm calling on the sheriff. Oh. New Kimasabi, you're riding for Chief Thundercloud. Oh. What him do? I have a plan to teach those fellows with Putnam a lesson, Tutter. Uh -huh. Find Thundercloud. Get him to do as I say. And Putnam's going to be glad to call off his expedition against those reservation Indians. Mm, where Thundercloud now? And not far from here, Tonto. He and his fighting men are on a buffalo hunt this side of Wheeler's Ferry. Ah. Listen, and see that Thundercloud makes no mistake. Silver, old fellow. Now to see the sheriff and tell him what's going to happen. Hurry, old boy. Come on, Silver. Come on. Oh, oh, there, Silver. Oh, boy. Oh, there. Oh. Stay here. Away from here just this morning. Right. Well, you can't. Sheriff, one moment. Take your hand from that holster. I don't see I'm what... not an outlaw. I'm your friend. I'm not here to make you trouble. I'm here to save it. Huh? This morning I learned that you wanted to stop Putnam, but couldn't. You know about him? Since this morning, I have seen and talked to him. Yeah? He's bent on going through with his plans. He wouldn't listen to reason. Yeah, name me one time he ever did. And as you're aware yourself, if he does lead those men onto the reservation... There'll be nothing that you can do about it afterwards. But the United States Marshal's office will do plenty when they get the word. I doubt it. Putnam isn't that stupid. Why won't it? Because Putnam won't attack those red men without having framed some kind of an incident first to serve as an excuse. The incident won't even have to occur. One of his followers can claim reservation Indians stole his horses and that they attacked his cabin. But I don't do see you what... think the Marshal will do anything to men who appear to be acting only because they had to? I'll tell the Marshal the truth. And every man in Putnam's party will swear that you're lying. Well, I... Well, doggone it, then. What's to be done? That's what I came here to tell you. You did? You got a plan? A plan and a friend. Huh? Chief Thundercloud. Thundercloud? Who's he? He has no connection with the reservation Indians. But at this moment, he's not many miles from here. Yeah, but I don't see how Keep he... Keep quiet and you will. Shoot. I've sent word to him. Uh-huh. 
He and his braves should reach town sometime tomorrow morning. Just about the time Putnam's party will be riding on their own errand. And then what? Thundercloud will have his instructions. I'll give you yours. Follow them. And you can take my word, Sheriff. The reservation will be safe. the next morning that the men camped at the Putnam Ranch, saddled their horses, examined their guns, then at Putnam's command, mounted and rode steadily westward toward the Indian reservation. Putnam rode in advance with the cowboy he called Sandy at his side. They made one stop in the middle of the morning, and by noon they drew near the twin hills that marked the border between the county and the reservation. That's it, Sandy. Mm Mm-hmm. And this ain't going to be no surprise call. What do you mean? Look there, way beyond that ridge. Uh, smoke. Yeah. I was afraid of this. Going to change your plans, Eddie? Why should I? They'll be laying for us. And we'll still be about two to their one and better armed. Nope. Likely they won't even put up a fight. Wouldn't surprise me none if they was just to round up their families, pack their stuff and light out. And they'd figure on sneaking back when we was gone. And if they do, we've wasted our time. Well, in that case, they're going to fight. Huh? See just over that ridge now? Redskins! On their ponies. Sandy, they must have had word of this for some time. Look when the sun hits some of them. They're all painted up. They're set for the war path. How much further are we going? What do you mean? I mean before we get organized to charge them. Oh. Where do we get to that groom ahead there? Uh-huh. We'll stop there and divide up. You can take some of the men and circle around to the south under cover of that line of trees along the creek. Yeah. It'll give you a chance to outflank them, cut them off if any of them try to run for it. If you handle it right, charge down on them when the time comes to take them by surprise. I reckon it can be managed. And I'll send Dave over to the north with more fellas to do the same thing from that end. And the rest? I'll lead. We'll charge from straight in front. Those engines you see now are just likely scouts. When we charge them, they'll drop back. That'll give you and Dave a chance to get into position without being seen. <laughs> Boss, you should have belonged to the army. I could do as good as some of them soldiers. Here's the grove. Yeah, we'd better step. All right, men, pull up. Pull there. Move, 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 move. Move. Fellas, we're just about set. Dave, I want you and Sandy here to... Well, that'll be a... Boss, what is it? Look back the way we came. What is it, huh? That white horse. Come on, gentlemen. Come on, that fellow masked? Where'd he come from? Who is he? That's the same masked man that was at your place. The same. He told you that he'd see you again? And he said I'd be sorry about it. Well, now we'll see who's going to be sorry. Men, when that hombre rides up, keep him covered every second. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, what do you want? I'm waiting. Town. Indians are attacking the town. They're needed back in town. Oh, hold that, hold that, hold that, hold that. Mr. Witcher, game. You heard me. Town, get back there at once. The sheriff needs you. Reach. What's this? You're not trying no tricks on me. Reach out. One shot at me and I'll get your leader. Shot the gun from Putnam's hand. Putnam had him covered and the masked man drew. Never seen such a draw. Oh, my hand is smashed. You're not hurt. Now, are you going back to town or aren't you? I told you we wasn't falling for any of your tricks. And I meant hey, it. someone else is coming. Boss, what that gent want? Wait, he's hollering something. Putnam, fellas, make duck for town. Engines, engines attacking. Get the town. Give us some help. Hey, the masked fellow was telling the truth. It wasn't a trick. Oh, boy. Oh, there. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, there. Putnam, if you come in, you better hurry. You, you mean they're really our engines, eh? You think I rode clear out here for help just for the fun of it? But they can't be from the reservation. Who said they was? They come from somewhere over east. Putnam, you going to help us or ain't you? If the town's in danger, you bet we'll help. You hear what he said, fellas? Let's come on. We're needed. Follow me. Come on, you. Help us. With a masked man to guide them, Putnam and his men turned their backs on the reservation and swept across the plains toward Moss Springs in the distance. When they approached town, they could see Indians racing their ponies up and down the main street. The sound of gunfire reached their ears. The sight spurred them to still greater speed. 
and advanced upon the town like charging cavalry. Give them Wheel storm! Let them have it! Come on, Silver! Come on! That's where. I shall keep up the fight with a cabin. Give it to the critters. Get up! Get up! Fire, men! Fire! No! Hold the shots until we're closer. Don't waste the powder. You heard the mask, man, fellas. Do as he says. Write them down. Hey, they've seen us. They're cutting out. They're making a run for us. The engines are high there and they're leaving. Look at the Should we chase them? Let them go. Hey, oh, men! Oh, 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 Thank heavens, pardon me, you come. Anybody hurt, Sheriff? Those Redskins do any damage? I don't think they had the chance. We came as fast as we could. And I'm thanking you. You saved the town. But from now on, Sheriff, you'd better see that the town's guarded all the time, huh? You figure they're going to come back? They might. Golly, if they do... But if they don't, you still have the reservation Indians to deal with. What's that? Why will they? Drive them off their home grounds and you'll find they won't take it without attempting to pay you back. Who said I was? Well, that's what you were about to do when I caught up with you. That was before. Before what? Before this happened. It looks to me like we'd better leave well enough alone. Reckon with them other engines on the war path, we'd better keep from riling them on the reservation. If we don't, we'll have our heads too dark going full. You mean you're going to forget about raiding their village? It ain't safe to do anything else. And you're going to work with me for a change instead of again me? If we wasn't, would we be here now? <laughs> Come on, fellas. Let's have a look around. We'll see what them redskins done before we got here. Get up there. Get up. Get up. They fell for it, masked man. Your part, Thundercloud, put on a right good show. And you played your part. <laughs> Don't you worry. Nobody around here will ever let Putnam catch you onto the truth. Well, there's Tonto. Yeah. <laughs> Adios. Come on, Silver. Oh, hey, hey, wait, mister. I ain't thanked you yet. Now, wait, hold on. Hello, Silver, away! Well, doggone. <laughs> you know, the way he lit out, I... I wonder if that masked Jen ain't the Lone Ranger. just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs> <laughs>